Hi, my name is Juan Rodriguez, and today I'm going to show you how to get event tracking working with Gravity Forms. So the plugins I assume you have running here are going to be uh, Gravity Forms, the latest. Always keep Gravity Forms up to date. And a plugin called Gravity Forms Event Tracking, which is a plugin that I've developed. Uh, if you're not sure how to uh, find the plugin, uh, just go ahead and search the directory and you'll be able to find it pretty easily. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Forms and go to Settings. And then Event Tracking. And then you're going to want to punch your UAID in here. And um, make sure everything's default. And the way to get your UAID if you don't know it is go to Admin of Google Analytics the property settings and then there it is right there you just copy and paste it in uh, now let's go real quick while we're in here uh, let's go to uh, goals so I have one for form pagination which I have a paginated form and it's just uh, the category equals form action is pagination that's all you need to do to set up pagination. Um, this one is a little different. This one is form submission. So let's go back to uh, WordPress and check to see <coughs> excuse me, uh, if the feed matches up correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to submission tracking. And I'm going to delete this feed so you can see how one's created from scratch. Okay, so I'm going to add new. Now, if you don't put an event category or action or label, it's going to assume these are the defaults. So I'm going to change this to my goal in analytics, which is form submission. I'm going to leave the label blank so it'll be the default. And you can use conditional logic here if you need to, like for example, if somebody doesn't fill in their first name or something like that. Update settings. And let's go ahead and go to my contact form. Just take a second to load here. Alright, there it is. So let's go ahead and punch in my first name, last name, and then check real time analytics. So let's go home. Let's go to real time. And then let's go to events. And you'll see that one just came by, form pagination came by. So, but we really want to form conversion. So, uh, we, should, we should see another event right now since I went to the last page. And there we go, and there it is for the pagination. And then finally, we should see our uh, form submission come in. And there we go, form submission. So that is how easy it is, and you check your conversions, of course, make sure they're, they're matching up. So you got form pagination and gravity form submission in here. So that is how to set up gravity forms event tracking. Uh, it's a little bit of a, a little bit some steps, but it saves you hours trying to do it manually, I swear. So thank you for watching.